thank you so much for coming back to my channel. Shamir is here. And today I am back with a new video. I will be doing a Q&A, get to know me style video. I'm super excited about it. I did a Q&A on my Instagram at underscore the real Bella one. And I had my followers just send in any questions that they wanted to know, any questions that they had um, for me. So I got them on my phone and today we are going to be answering, I'm going to be answering those questions live on camera. So y'all going to be getting all my tea, all of my business. Before we get into the video, please remember to, please make sure you are subscribed to my channel. Be sure to make sure that the post notification bells are turned on so you're notified of when I post videos. Give me a big thumbs up on this video and as always, leave me a comment in the comment section. I really, really care what you all think. So please, leave me a comment. All right, my name is Shamir. I was born in New Orleans, Louisiana and in 1999, my mom relocated us to Greensboro, Alabama, and that's where I grew up. I finished high school, and I pretty much um, was raised in Greensboro, Alabama. Soon after, I, soon after I finished high school, I went on to college, the historical Alabama State University, where I obtained my bachelor's degree in health information management and um, I met some amazing people those four years at state were really the best years of my life I would do it over in a heartbeat um so yeah I finished my degree in May of 2013 and then soon after that I relocated back to New Orleans Louisiana where I currently reside so that's a little intro about me um, so let's get into the questions specifically. Okay, let's see. Okay, so I got quite a few responses to the questions, so I'm excited about that. So let's get into the first question. The first question asks, what is your all-time favorite Christmas memory? my all-time favorite Christmas memory. Um, my all-time favorite Christmas memory was a couple years ago, my family and I, we packed up and we celebrated Christmas in the cabin. We got a rental truck, like an 18 passenger, Van and we all drove up to the mountains in Georgia. I forget what part of Georgia it was, but we were in Georgia. And my mom was there. We opened presents. We cooked dinner. It was amazing. And it was great just being with everyone, spending time with everyone. Um, we made a lot of great memories. The weather was perfect. So, yeah, that was like my all time favorite Christmas. next question is what is the biggest risk you've ever taken hmm. the biggest risk I've ever taken is really not taking a risk that's that's the risk um, not doing something being ambitious or going after my dreams that's the risk um, and so I think that's the biggest risk that I've taken, just being relaxed and comfortable with life. Uh, nah, I think that's like the politically correct response. The biggest risk, hmm. I'm gonna have to come back to that one. I don't, I'm gonna have to think about that one, biggest risk. I'm, I'm very strategic. So I usually don't take risks without thinking about them or like strategizing on how it's really gonna fall through and 
how I'm gonna execute the plan. So I'm gonna come back to that one. Okay, so here's a here's a good one. With this being your first vlogmas, is it a challenge? <sighs> is it a challenge? I really, really um, underestimated what all it would really take to put out videos for vlogmas. Um, it's a lot of hard work. It is a lot of hard work. Um, Non-stop recording, um, planning, um, it's a lot of work. I ain't gonna even lie. And I really got found myself like earlier uh, last week. I found my, I found my, especially when work picked up, because for the first week of Vlogmas, I felt like I was on a roll. I had videos pre-recorded, premiered, scheduled for premiering, and stuff like that. And then like the second week, work picked up, like my actual nine to five, it actually picked up and had me. Um, busier than I normally would than I have been in the past so I found it very challenging to stay on top of everything that I was already obligated to and to be consistent with doing YouTube so um yes it is a challenge vlogmas is a challenge do not underestimate it do not look at these videos that people are putting out thinking oh that's so cute I'm gonna do that I'm gonna do that <laughs> honey you better be prepared because it is a lot of hard work and I feel like once you start something, you eat it. Don't quit, keep going. And um, and just finish it, just finish the race. So that's my plan right now. I'm almost done. I think we have a couple more days left to um, Christmas. And so I'm just motivated. I am, however, anticipating a um, much needed break after vlogmas y'all not gonna hear from me for a minute because i'm tired i ain't gonna lie and i just need a break so there you go and i am enjoying me a nice refreshing glass of tea y'all if you know me then you know i love me some tea honey so cheers okay let's see if we can find another one What is one thing you really want for Christmas? So one thing that I really, 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 really want for Christmas is a MacBook. Yes, I don't want nothing for Christmas but a MacBook and, record, and recording equipment for my YouTube channel. Because in the next, in the upcoming year, 2021, I plan to take my YouTube to another level I want to um, upgrade my equipment, I need a camera, I need a new MacBook laptop, I need backdrops, I need space, um, I need like, I need, the, I just need a whole revamp. I am thankful and um, humbly satisfied with how I'm getting the job done now. But, um, yeah, I just feel like I deserve that and that's something I really, really want. So if you out there, if you listen to Santa, I want a new MacBook Pro for Christmas. Okay. How did you find out you were pregnant? it was the month of October and um, it was a couple days leading up to my birthday which is November 2nd and it was like October like 25th 26th -ish. and um, I hadn't seen my period yet so I'm like okay well in my mind I'm like it's still a couple more days in a month don't worry about it girl you're gonna be okay um but then it started being on my mind a little bit more, a little bit more. Days started going by. Now here it is, like a couple days before Halloween. I still haven't seen my period. And I'm someone who's not late. I don't have irregular periods. I come when I'm supposed to come. 
Um, but this time it didn't show up. So I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna take a pregnancy test. So on the way home from work one day, I stopped by the store, I got me a pregnancy test, I got home, I took a shower, poured me a nice little glass of wine, and I told Rob, I said, I'm about to go take this pregnancy test. I went and took it, and lo and behold, I was preggers. And it seems like as soon as I found out I was pregnant, I started being sick. Like, non-stop throwing up, ill, fatigue, no energy, no appetite. I was miserable, okay? Um, I feel like I shouldn't have took the test. And then the crazy part about it was um, I had a vacation lined up like a couple weeks into um november like the week of thanksgiving we were going to orlando and then we were going to a cruise to the bahamas so now here i am big pregnant while all this fun stuff going on my first cruise i'm on a boat pregnant you know my first trip to orlando to disney world i'm at the park can't get on no rides and while it was still early i knew i was pregnant so um how I found out. What was the most difficult time in your life and how did you get through it? Oh, wow. Yeah. The most difficult time in my life having to grow up at a really early age by the time I was 16 my grandmother was deceased my father was deceased and my relationship with my mom was not the best so I had to grow up fast um, faster than a lot of my peers and a lot of the people around me I was dealing with things that they hadn't even seen yet and so as a result of that I had to really grow up by the time I was 16, I finished high school at 16. I started college when I was 16. And then I turned 17 um, that fall semester in my first year of college. But nevertheless, I just saw a lot at a young age. And I had to grow up. And I had to come to terms early in life with how I wanted my life to be and what I wanted it to look like. And just based on everything that I had already seen in life, I knew I wanted to take a different route than what I had seen and what I had been exposed to. So for me, that was the most difficult time in my life. I feel like now at 29, I've seen, I've seen the, the worst side of life and I got through it. By the strength of God, honestly. The strength of God and the support of um, my family and my friends. I got through it. College really shaped me and helped me um, get through it. I always say if I didn't go to college, Lord knows. I have no idea of what I would be doing right now. And not just go to college. If I didn't go to Alabama State University, I don't know where I would be right now in life because going to state just changed the dynamic of my life, changed my thinking. I met people from all over the world, different walks of life who was able to pour into me and show me different ways of living and show me just that there was more to life than what I had already seen. And so because of that, I'm grateful and I'm thankful that I'll be able to, you know, withstand any challenge that I'm faced with because of those shortcomings I had as a kid and those things that I went through as a child, you know, losing my father, losing my grandmother, going through those, through those uh, trials and tribulations with my mama and, you know, thinking I'm grown and, and, and actually, you know, failing and learning, for, and, but failing but most importantly, learning from my mistakes because, you know, you may look at me 
and I may look like I have life all together and I feel like right now I do have a sound um, understanding of life and how it works but before I got here I made a lot of errors I did a lot of foolish things a lot of things that I should have done I shouldn't have done a lot of things I wish I could take back so um, so yeah I think that all of that helped shape who I am and I'm I'm extremely thankful for it even though um, it was difficult because I went through a, a lot of it by myself um, but I just was a, I'm, I've always been a person with ambition and dedication and hustle and, and, and someone who was coachable and so because of that thankfully I managed to um, you know to make it through life and get to where I am uneventfully. Thank you. Thank you for that question. Um, I really like that question. Next question. What kind of desserts are you making for Christmas? Well, I've made, I've already baked chocolate chip cookies. I plan to do a sweet, a sweet potato, um, a sweet potato pie recipe I'm gonna share with y'all my mom's sweet potato pie recipe honey if it's not my mama's pie I don't want it that patty pie y'all hyped up was trash I got that for Thanksgiving honey and I was highly disappointed it was too wet like it was too wet number one number two it was not dark enough it was too orangey orange looking so number one there was not enough cinnamon in it I mean, number two, there was not enough cinnamon in it. Bottom line, it was not good. And um, I think I'm going to record and share with y'all my mom's sweet potato pie recipe. Y'all gonna love it. Will you do a video of your family opening up presents on Christmas Day? Yes. I am going to do a video um, of my family opening up Christmas on Christmas opening up presents on Christmas Day. We do plan to um, travel this year for Christmas. We are going to Alabama to see my mom. So we are going to do a little smaller early Christmas here at the house before we get on the road. So yeah, look out for that um, video. How do you juggle everything that you have going on and staying consistent with it all? Now, that is a good question. How do you juggle everything that you have going on and staying consistent with it all? Um, thankfully, COVID-19 um, is to credit for all of the time that I've had on my hands with my ability to be able to create and roll out content consistently as I want to. One of the biggest things that I um, I knew would be a challenge with starting my business and my brand was being consistent. Consistency is the number one rule with anything. Anything you wanna be good at or you wanna have um, good outcomes at, you wanna be consistent with it. So I promised myself that if I was gonna do this, I had to be consistent. I had to figure out a way to make it work with everything else that I have going on, my nine to five, my, you know, being a mom, everything else that I have just going on in life. Uh, here I am now adding YouTube on, on top of it. So um, here's the first thing that I would suggest for um, juggling everything. You want to be organized. You need to get a planner and you need to organize your life. That's what I do. I live and I, and I live and I swear by my planner. If it's not planned, then you plan to fail. And to me, seeing what I have to do, like visibly seeing it, opposed to trying to keep track of it in my head, it just makes me a little bit more productive. So I recommend that if you don't, get a planner. Plan your life, plan the events, even down to going to the grocery, going to drop the kids off, recording the video, editing the video, making the thumbnail, whatever it is that I have to do, I just put it out on paper in my planner so I can see it. Uh, a second thing is take advantage of your time good time management you you have to manage your time effectively and um, seize every moment so 
when my son is not around, anytime him and his dad, they go to the store, anytime I have a little downtime, I'm going to try to record because I know that I need to get it done. I need to take advantage of the time because a lot of time, um, you know, the day just gets ahead of us. My son gets home. He gets me busy. You know, I, I get to cook and I go over here and start doing that. And then next thing you know, boom, it's 8, 9 o'clock. I haven't created my content. I haven't done stuff. So I just try to take um, advantage of all of the time that I have. Any free time that I have, I'll create a video, create the intro, go back and do, you know, even if I can't um, do everything in one walk, I will just do my intro and then come back and do it later. Or, you know, just try to get everything, try to get everything um, filmed and then I'll go back and edit. It's it's just being organized. Being organized and planning your life is going to save you a lot of time and taking advantage of and managing your time better. Um, yeah, I think just doing that, you will see a, tr a tremendous um, difference in the amount of things you can achieve if you are consistent and if you manage your time. Okay, what did you learn about Vlogmas this year that you will use next year? Um, one thing I learned is you gotta be prepared. You don't want to be that person that's filming videos, editing and doing all that in the same day that you're gonna upload the video. So, I think next year for Vlogmas, I'm gonna be a little bit more prepared. I'm gonna start preparing for Vlogmas a little earlier in November, start thinking of my content, actually recording the content sooner so that I'm not, um, so that I'm not pretty much rushed for content or I don't find myself on the day of, I'm on the day of needing a video trying to create content for it because then you're gonna rush your video, you're gonna rush editing, and it's probably not gonna be the best content that you want. I watched so many of my videos back and I was like, dang, how I, how I didn't catch that? Like, dang, like, you don't hear that? Like, oh, girl. And it really was because a lot of times I was rushing. I was rushing trying to put videos out, recording content the same day I wanted to put it out. Now I'm rushed, or I'm trying to record, you know, it's just, yeah, so that's definitely something that I'm going to take into next year with me when it comes to vlogging. Is I'm going to start early, plan early, and create my content early so that I'm not rushing. Alright, well, I think that's, that might be all of the questions. Uh, oh, what is the biggest risk you've ever taken? Y'all want to go back to that question? drawing a blank with that question the biggest risk the biggest risk is taking no risk okay that's that's the biggest risk the biggest risk is sitting on your ass being content being complacent being okay with your current situations and not doing nothing that's gonna put you and your family in a better in a better situation that's the biggest risk so um I ain't doing that. I'm getting up every day. I'm hustling. I'm trying to put myself in a better position than I was yesterday. So there are no risks. I don't take risks. I'm a very strategic person and um, anything I'm doing is well thought out and planned. Okay. All right. I really appreciate these questions. I really liked them. I hope you guys learned something about me um, from this video. Uh, if you are not subscribed already, please make sure that you are subscribed to my channel. Be sure that you leave this video a big thumbs up and leave me a question or a comment or say something down in the comment section um, of this video. And until the next video, guys, bye.